It's a rainy day. The queen looks unimpressed as she grapples with her umbrella at Royal Ascot, but dull weather doesn't put a stop to fashion parade. The queen looked less than impressed as the heavens opened at Royal Ascot today, but high-spirited revelers didn't let the wet weather dampen their fun. The monarch, 93, arrived for the festivities as normal in an open-top carriage alongside Prince Charles, 70, and the Duchess of Cornwall, 71, but was later forced to whip out an umbrella to stay dry. Elsewhere well-heeled racegoers faced their own battle with the hair frizzing drizzle, with many donning disposable rain ponchos, huddling under umbrellas and rushing inside as they tried to stay dry. But even that wasn't enough to stop the fashion parade and stars including Charlotte Hawkins, Debbie McGee and Helen Flanagan still pulled out all the fashion stops. Today is the second day of the five-day meet which is the jewel and the crown of the British racing, and social calendars. Yesterday the Queen was joined at Royal Ascot by senior royals including the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, Prince Andrew, Princess Eugenie, Princess Beatrice and Zara and Mike Tyndall as the family market the start of the meet. However today it was a rather different guest list, with only Charles, Camilla, Princess Anne and the Earl and Countess of Wessex returning to make a second appearance. In keeping with royal protocol, the Queen arrived first with Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall. They were joined in their carriage by Alan, Viscount Brookborough, a lord-in-waiting to Her Majesty. The Queen donned blue for a second day in a row, choosing a slightly lighter coat and hat than she wore yesterday. Camilla, who yesterday looked pretty in blush pink, complimented Her Majesty in a minute green creation. Princess Anne dressed in a pretty blue floral dress and playful horse hat, arrived separately but turned out to greet her mother, brother and sister-in-law as their carriage passed by. In the following carriage was the Queen's cousin, Prince Michael of Kent, and his wife Princess Michael of Kent. They were joined by Master of the Horse Lord de Molly and his wife, Lady de Molly. The Earl and Countess of Wessex, who celebrate their 20th wedding anniversary today chose to skip the carriage procession and made their way directly indoors. The couple, who married at St. George's Chapel, Windsor Castle, appeared in excellent spirits and smiled as they soaked up the atmosphere. Elsewhere racegoers could be seen making the best of the wet weather by taking out umbrellas to sit on benches in the rain. Others giggled as they pulled plastic ponchos over their finery. Royal Ascot is as much a social occasion as a sporting event and racegoers take the opportunity to turn on the style, from chic hats and summer dresses to sharp suits. Visitors to the high-profile racing event this year also have a wider choice of garb, as organizers say they are free to choose a gender dress code they feel most comfortable with. Under the changes, women will be allowed to dress like men and vice versa, as long as they stick to the rules. This year's Royal Enclosure dress code says gentlemen must wear a black or grey morning dress with a waistcoat and tie. Ladies are not allowed to wear strapless and off-the-shoulder dresses, while midriffs have to be covered and fascinators are also banned. In previous years, it has insisted attendees cover their midriffs and avoid wearing fascinators and that still stands. While in previous years there has been no official style guide for the Windsor Enclosure, Except to dress for a formal occasion, now female attendees are requested to wear fascinators, like those in the rest of the enclosures. Royal Ascot has put in place strict dress codes since the early 19th century. The race gathering's famously strict clothing rules hark back to sartorial trailblazer Beau Brummel, who dictated the dress for men in the royal enclosure at the turn of the 19th century and was fond of cleaning his shoes with champagne. Two years ago, the event broke with convention by allowing racegoers to wear jumpsuits in the royal enclosure for the first time. Organizers also announced they would try to draw in a new breed of visitors by putting on a party atmosphere and a more vibrant feel. Meanwhile, no changes have been made to rules for gentlemen. Juliet Slot, commercial director of Ascot, said, Fashion and style are an important part of the royal Ascot experience for all of our customers.